Baxter, who's very sick. Jim Curry will be operated on tomorrow. And our former pastor, Haroldine and Arthur Lee, are sick. Barbara Blanton, Dorothy Foote, Ann Bland, and Leah Keyes. We want to also pray for the continued strife in the Middle East. Let us pray. Holy, holy, holy Lord God Almighty, how majestic is thy name above all the earth. We adore you, we worship you, we bless you above all creation. Oh God, we are so finite and you're so infinite. We are so small and you are so great. We are so without understanding, and yet with you is all reason and all knowledge. And therefore we come to you this morning and we offer ourselves. And we ask you to bless us, open our hearts that we might receive your word. We pray for those amongst us who are sick. We pray that you will reveal yourself to them as the great comforter and the great healer. We pray for this church that we might remain united that men and women will come to put their faith in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. We pray for the world in which we live, in which there's so much conflict. Thousands continue to be killed in Syria. There's so much anguish and so much tragedy, so much anger in the Middle East and government against government and people against government. And yet as we come to our own country on July 4th, we know that our country is also divided. We have sung the battle hymn of the Republic, which speaks that your truth is marching on. It's not our truth. It's not our righteousness, not our judgment, but it is yours, O oh Lord. And therefore we pray that we might seek your face and understand that justice comes only from you. And therefore we pray that we might be able to do what you require of us, to love justice and love mercy and walk humbly with God. Bind us together. Give us a hope. Give us a future. Show us that all things are good in your sight. We ask all this in the name of our Savior Christ, who taught us when we pray to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. 